How's it going guys? Today, I'm going to talk about the man who made the first basket in NBA history, named Ossie Sheckman. Well, let's just get right into it. Ossie Sheckman was born on March 30th of 1919 in Queens, New York, to Jewish immigrants from Russia. When growing up, Ossie would learn how to play basketball on New York's Lower East Side. He'd fall in love with the game, as he'd continue to play it all throughout high school on his Samuel J. Tilden high school basketball team. After high school, he would play ball at Long Island University. In 1939, Aussie would win the National Invitation Tournament and National Championship with the college basketball team. And in 1941, he was named to the Converse All-American First Team. After his college days were over, he would play for a team named the Philadelphia Spas under a coach whose nickname was Mr. Basketball, named Eddie Gottlieb, in a now defunct professional basketball league named the American Basketball League. Aussie would win a championship with the Spaws in 1943, and in 1944, he'd be second in the league in scoring, averaging 10.5 points per game. Sheckman would play with the Spaws until 1946, as he joined the Knicks of the BAA, which is now the NBA. On November 1st, 1946, at Toronto's Maple Leaf Gardens, against a now defunct team called the Toronto Huskies, in the first NBA game ever played, Aussie Sheckman would make the first basket in NBA history. The cherry on top was that his team would end up winning the first game in NBA history, 68-66. to Aussie would go on to play 54 games for the Knicks that season, averaging 8.1 points per game. In a game against a defunct team named the Chicago Stags, Sheckman would suffer an internal injury. This would not only be his last game of the 47 season, but would be his last NBA game ever. He would leave the NBA because he felt he could support his family more as a salesman in New York's garment district. Now given the amount of money NBA players made in those days, his choice is very understandable. Aussie would go back to the ABL in 1947, joining a team called the Patterson Crescents that would go on to win the 47-48 American Basketball League Championship. Also, in that same season, Aussie would be named to the All-ABL First Team. After the season, he would retire from professional basketball. On July 30th of 2013, Aussie Sheckman would pass away at the age of 94 in Delray Beach, Florida. Rest in peace, legend. Before I end this vid, I want to share with you guys a few Aussie Sheckman facts. Number one, in 1998, he became a member of the National Jewish Sports Hall of Fame. Number two, he was inducted into Long Island University Athletic Hall of Fame. This was in 2001. Number three, he was in a 2008 documentary film named The First Basket. And last but not least, number four, on April 27, 2013, Sheckman gave his very last autograph to young NBA fans who came to visit his nursing home in New City, New York. During the visit, he was watching a triple overtime game four between the Bulls and the Nets. Now I just wanna say, dear Naismith Memorial, Put Aussie Sheckman in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. Man's literally made the first NBA basket. That right there should be enough for him to get in. <laughs> and <laughs> for real. Anyways, well, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Basket Maker out. Peace.